So I just got this Robum Engineering headlight fault elimination plug. I wanted to show you guys how it works. So I got the headlight plugged in here on the RS660. Here's the headlight plug. And I'm monitoring can traffic. So that's what all this nonsense is for. So when I turn the bike on, so I'm just gonna key on right now. This is all the can traffic that starts to move. So this is basically every ECU on the bike talking to all the other ECUs on the bike, just the can traffic that's going on. And these raw messages, you see these numbers, 100 up to 601. What happens is, so what happens when we unplug the headlight, you get a alarm can fault. And if you come down here to your can messages, you can see one of them stopped transmitting. So this 250, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see everything else is buzzing along and updating. And this column here is counting how many messages it gets. You can see they're all incrementing, but this guy stopped. So I'm guessing 250 is coming from the headlight, which means that the headlamp actually has an ECU in it and is sending a message to the bike saying, hey, I'm a headlight and I'm okay and everything is good. And when that goes away, you get your can fault on here. So Robum sells this handy dandy plug-in thing, which must have a tiny ECU in it that sends out a copy of that can message saying, hey, I'm okay. So you take that guy. So here's the headlight connector into the Robum tool. Must power up the ECU. So I got that plugged in, the headlight not plugged in. You can see that 250 starts updating again, that 250 message over can and the bike is happy again. This check engine light is just because the bike's off right now. If I started the bike, it would go away. But yeah, pretty badass. Science.